Endoscopic ear surgery is a means in which we do surgery in the ears using a device such as an endoscope like this, which enables us to see through narrow uh, channels and also have a better view of the middle ear spaces. Now, it was initially used as a diagnostic tool, but given that the view is much better than other parameters we have, such as a microscope, uh, increasingly, a lot of surgeons are beginning to turn towards it, using it for surgery, uh, resulting in uh, much better results when applicable. There are a lot of surgeons that use it for all range and all manner of ear surgery, um, which includes chronic ear disease, as in cholestoma, where you have disease growing into the middle ear spaces. But you can also use it to repair holes in the drum, repair, repair abnormalities within the ear canal itself. And some people have tried using it for skull based surgery just because of the superior view that it gives and also enables one to do things that we otherwise would have had to make very large incisions or cuts in the air and in the head in order to achieve. All air surgical conditions beyond the air canal uh, can be treated with ES. In fact, conditions within the air canal can be treated with ES. Um, by using the endoscope, you're able to have a very good view of the lesion within the air canal, such as bony lesion within the air canal, or soft tissue masses within the air canal. Holes within the drum, um, or perforated eardrums, can be repaired very well with an endoscope um, because you're able to have a good look at it and achieve very good closure with them. You can reconstruct the hearing, reconstruct the hearing with the endoscope, people use it for stapedectomies, or um, middle bone reconstruction in order to improve people's hearing. In conditions like cholesterol, there are increasing people using it for removing the cholesterol in the air with the effect of not avoiding a very large cut, which in itself can carry some problems, and also removing less normal tissue than you otherwise would have to if you were doing it via a traditional approach. Cosmetically, it's much better because you're not dealing with a big scar. And also in my hands, I found that the hearing results after you, uh, hearing results with using the endoscope is far better than when I used to use a microscope. The main advantage is visualization. The slight disadvantage from a surgical point of view is that you're restricted to one hand and you do not have as much depth perception. But with experience, the view there circumvents the depth perception problem that you have with the endoscope and also you get proper sensitive stimulus from the opposite hand while holding the endoscope. So really with experience, it's a very uh, slight uh, disability as it were. Um, in terms of the being unable to use two hands to do the operation, well, nowadays some patients, some surgeons are using endoscope holders, but most surgeons are able to get by doing the surgical procedure with one hand. The difference between an endoscope and a microscope is that with the microscope, it's a much larger device, um, which uh, entails you using binocular vision to see objects, uh, which gives you advantage of both magnification and depth perception. The endoscope is a much smaller device, um, which you virtually visualize on a screen. The degree of view that you have with these screens are much better and gives a better uh, view of the structures in order for you to do surgery. So it's less bulky, but more versatile in terms of how you can use it and also um, uh, how soon and how effective you deal with the pathology in hand. With endoscopic air surgery, there's very little scarring because the scar that's required for micro using a microscope is much bigger and the scar itself can cause problems with keloid formation or pain or numbness around the air. Whereas with the endoscope, you bypass all that because you're actually operating closer to the pathology at hand, hence less tissue exposure or tissue damage is required. It's also a faster operation to do for similar conditions. In my hands, the hearing results are much better uh, with the endoscope. So is the perforation rate uh, closure uh, with the endoscope because it's more precise in the placement of your graft when you're doing the air surgery. Apart from it, being faster to do, the healing time is actually faster. And from the patient point of view, the cosmesis is far superior when you do the operation endoscopically because the scar is virtually invincible, as against a big scar outside the ear, uh, which sometimes can affect hair growth. So especially in men that bald, 
um, they may not necessarily want the scar to be that visible. All patients require air surgery, it can be used uh, or can be done with endoscopic air surgery. The only improviso is if the disease is extensive, uh, in, the, in the technical term, it is very extensive going right up to the mastoid tip, then you will want to open up the whole area because you will need a large exposure anyway. And these tissues are already damaged. But if you had limited disease within the mastoid itself or within the air itself or within the air canal, all these patients can be very effectively treated endoscopically. This would also extend to children with glue ears. You can use a micro endoscope rather than a microscope uh, to do the operation um, and um, to good, with good effect.